Now, we are in front of us having the most uh, significant change that our generation is going to see when it comes to energy. In order to be able to save the planet, the first and really the biggest thing we need to do is decarbonize the power system. And that means several things. One is we have to replace fossil plants with wind and solar and batteries and other non-emitting generation. And we have to electrify everything. We have to electrify how we use what we do in our homes, what we do in our businesses. And really, for climate change, we have to make a grid that is a lot more resilient. We may need more electricity for a growing population and economy. Uh, and for new uses like electrifying transportation and industry. We may need several fold less electricity by using it more efficiently and more timely if those options are allowed to compete fairly with new supply. So altogether there's about a threefold uncertainty in how much electricity we'll need. It's really quite impressive because with electrification of going to electric vehicles and uh, going away from gas for cooking and everything else, it could easily double. Most people think the electric use in the U.S. could double. And I have seen estimates coming out of other utilities in some major cities that they could expect three to four times the electricity. If we need more, we'll need more wires to carry it. If we turn out not to need much more, then we still need to de-bottleneck the grid because a lot of the power lines aren't in the right place is as we think about the energy transition, we have to think about how we use technology better. And that's a key opportunity to help build our economies and also a key challenge to make sure we're doing it right. Traditional wires strung from towers in transmission lines have an aluminum uh, conductor uh, of strands wound around a steel core to hold it all up. You can make not a steel core, but a carbon fiber core that is very much lighter for the same strength. So for the same weight, you can put more conductor uh, in that wire and carry much more power. We've got an industry that's 100 years old that has grown up and all of its infrastructure became part of what supplies electricity to the society. Suddenly we're at a point where that's being disaggregated in a society that relies very heavily and more all the time on electricity to supply resources that are less than half as reliable. But we're doing that to reduce carbon. Is we can think about smart infrastructure, like companies that can reduce the cost of transmission, where we can reuse existing lines and increase the power we take through them. So we're not taking on more land, but we're actually being smarter around the types of investments that we're making. What's exciting about this time in this industry is the amount of change and the quality of the questions we have to answer. Smart people in the industry are working on solving problems that we could have solved years ago but didn't have the pressure to solve. And now we're having to solve them because we're going in this environment where we've got to reduce our consumption of electricity at a time when we're using it for so much more in the society. This technology was invented in 2014 in North America. It actually took an outsider to come up with the concept because the product seems to be stiff, too stiff for conductor applications, so it's not possible for industry veterans to come up with an idea like that. When I got into Advanced Conductor, that was 2010, so I know the handicaps of the prior generation product. And we had the opportunity to acquire the technology late 2017. We established TS Conductor Corporation in 2018. We went on to receive funding, and we've been very blessed with support from Bill Gates Breakthrough Energy Ventures. We are arguably the only conductor manufacturer west of Mississippi in the U.S. In the TS Conductor solution, we feature the most conductive aluminum, which is the neod aluminum, combined with the strongest, lightest material that's possible, yet it doesn't have a thermal expansion, doesn't have the sagging issue. We allow all the renewables to be integrated because we're deep bottlenecking the power grid to facilitate that. Not all the so-called green technology require green premium. 
with TS, you are actually getting a green discount. That discount can be leveraged to subsidize universal electrification for everyone, everywhere, of everything. And so if you put this type of power line in that has the lower resistance and can carry more power, then you sell that. Well, that means that Tucson can sell at 140 or so and make $100 and Californians get reduced from four or $500 down to 140. So it really does help the consumer. With TS technology, we can reduce line loss by about half. And what does that mean? Well, you could say, you have those electricity that are used to be wasted, now they're becoming available. So, you know, especially when you have emergency low situations, they are handy and they're also much needed as well. We can leverage those material properties for tripling the line capacity with the existing power grid. That is the fastest, also the most economical way to upgrade our uh, power grid infrastructure. Specifically, we want to make the grid smart, actually make the wire smart. The technology of the past are the dumb wires. They cannot do self-monitoring, that's one. Number two, we wanted to facilitate grid uh, accommodation for all the renewable generation to get to zero carbon economy, cost effectively as well. And number three, there is efficiency that uh, the power grid has ignored for many years. We like to change that. We wanted to maximize grid efficiency and also allow that efficiency to pay for grid modernization. We're very excited about TS technology because there are some additional technologies that we're working on. We have, for example, fiber optic options that we can insert into our composite core that allows you to do real-time accurate monitoring of circuit performance. Uh, in terms of the future directions of the technology, we really wanted to add smart functionality to the, to the uh, conductors, but more importantly, we wanted to make our solution the mainstream option for everyone, everywhere around the world. We like to bring affordability, performance, reliability and resiliency to the industry with TS technology. With those accomplishments, with those focus, I think we can make this technology mainstream for years to come.